I'd spent a couple of days in Mandalay and decided to visit the beautiful hill station of Meimio, now called Pin Uluin, that is located in the Shan Highland, 42 miles to the east, and at an altitude of 3,500 feet. Very cool. First stop, the Puegok Falls, about 15 minutes outside the town, which features a number of small waterfalls and a popular place for locals to visit. I'm visiting in the dry season and the water is not so plentiful. I was told in the rainy season the falls are spectacular. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful spot and I met many local people wanting to practice their English on me. It's been a popular scenic spot from colonial times. It's also a Buddhist shrine and young monks get their education here. The rope bridge was precarious but this family took the challenge, even with their small children. Being a tourist spot, there are plenty of shops, selling just about everything. Their strawberries were delicious. And the people, very friendly. The river became a swimming pool where everyone had fun. And for the hungry, there was plenty of places to get a tasty snack. From there we went back into the town. I'd seen the Wild West horses and carriages on my last trip and was amazed at the sight. So I wanted to get some shots. Right in the center of the town was the equivalent of the taxi stand. Looking at them, I didn't know whether I'd see Billy the Kid or Cinderella. It's certainly an anomaly. And were it not for the cars, I would feel I was back in the 19th century. The town is littered with many bungalows and villas and large mansions built by the British during their rule and now occupied by rich local people or converted to hotels and guest houses. Today it provides the visitor with a taste of former times. I was only here for a day but I would love to stay a couple of nights here, soaking up the atmosphere of bygone days and enjoying the beautiful climate and gardens. We then went to visit the star attraction here, Kandoji National Gardens, established in 1915. The National Botanical Gardens, and cost me $5. I have a joke that I tell about British hill stations. Wherever they went, 
the British created a lake that could be walked around, filled it with fish, and provided rowing boats, and more often than not, a botanical garden next to it, with a potpourri of flowers and shrubs. Here was no exception. When one considers this is smack bang in the middle of one of the poorest countries in Asia, it's amazing. A flower-clad clock tower, totally surrounded by blooms. Just one of the attractions. This is not for a special occasion. To my knowledge, they didn't even know I was coming. It's like this all the time. It's comparable to any English country garden. To save time, I rode the oversized golf buggy that transports visitors through the park for a small fee. My destination was the four-acre orchid garden. Wow, everything about this place is impressive. Then back to the main garden. When the British founded Pin Oluin in 1896, it was originally called May Mio, Maytown, after Colonel May of the 5th Bengal Infantry and was built as a place to escape the heat of the plains, a common British custom in Asia. After the railway was built, connecting the town to Mandalay, May Mio became the summer capital of the British administration, and this continued until the end of British rule in 1948. I visited here on two occasions, and both times I've been amazed by the place and by the people. These boys live nearby and were enjoying their photography, as were many others in this colorful, photogenic paradise. Alas, I'm taking a day trip, so I was soon heading back into the town, this time stopping along the way to take a look at some of the beautiful homes built by the British. Many reminiscent of the old country. The old governor's mansion had a new hotel built onto it with bungalows serving as bedrooms that was spacious and cost only $75 a night, including breakfast. Newly built in the old style, immaculate. The mansion itself provided the historical aspect Vintage cars. And inside there were even wax models of former celebrities, including Colonel May, who spent 22 years here. The governor's mansion part of the hotel was more like sleeping in history. Amazing. A thoroughly enjoyable day out. And Josh, my driver, who works out of the Swan Hotel, was a gem. My usual suite at the Sedona overlooked Mandalay Palace and Mandalay Hill. A great way to end a great day.